So then, with the release of OLED displays inside the likes of the iPad Pro, when is the likes of, say, the MacBook Pros and, say, the MacBook Airs, when are they going to get these incredible new OLED displays? Well, today, I want to talk to you when these new displays are coming, the likelihood on all of the MacBooks, and then also I'm going to talk about if there's the possibility that we may even see a touchscreen MacBook in the future too. But first of all, let's talk about OLED displays displays. So then guys, just quickly, if you didn't know already, I'm actually on vacation at the moment. No lie, I'm actually in Florida right now. I'm not actually in the UK. I'm exploring Disney World and things like this. But something else though, what you might not know, is actually my Mac is also on vacation with Clean My Mac X. My Mac isn't doing so many of its usual sort of video creating tasks and all the usual bits and pieces I do with it. In fact, I'm running Clean My Mac X right now to do things like clean up my system junk, optimize the speed and just do general maintenance that I've been neglecting for so long. You could actually say that my Mac is having a Maccation as it were instead of a vacation. Well, it's really good to know that when I do go back to work, that my Mac will be really fast again and all my files and all my junk will be cleared out. The other great news is that while I'm relaxing here on vacation, any malware or anything like that that tries to attack my Mac, I know that Clean My Mac X has got me fully covered. And also, while I'm at it, I can also check out and chill that I know my CPU is not going to be overloaded, that I can keep an eye on it, and also that my battery is also in good health with the battery monitor. And if you want to be like me on your next vacation, or maybe on vacation right now, where you just want to sort out your Mac whilst you're just relaxing yourself and your Mac's not doing its usual sort of daily sort of tasks, make sure you check out Clean My Mac X, and especially that right now that Clean My Mac X are actually offering you 20 20% off their subscription plans and all you have to do is just put in the code MATTECH what you can see what's being shown on the screen right now. So with that I'm going to relax a bit more but just before that let me show you the rest of today's video. So if you know your history already, then you'll know that the likes of, say, the Apple Watch and, let's say, the iPhones, they all have OLED displays in them right now. And they have for the last few generations. Well, at least all of the models have. But the good thing is, is that this has started to spread into other Apple products too. So just a couple of months ago, we got the introduction of the iPad Pro with the M4 chipset, but we also got the brand new tandem OLED display inside the iPad Pro. And I, for one, reviewed these iPad Pros, and I've got to say, this is definitely the best OLED display that I've ever seen on a mobile device out of all the companies that I've tested out. So I'm talking the likes of Samsung, LG, multiple companies out there. Just the way how Apple have tuned the OLED displays to the way they want it even though the actual displays might not be made by them directly they actually instruct companies how to actually make those displays and they are absolutely amazing on the iPad Pros. The good news is it looks like if this is moving over to the likes of say the MacBook Pros into the future but you're probably wondering when this is going to happen. Well we've had multiple leaks and rumours over the previous years and there was quite a few in 2023 targeting that 2027 was the likelihood that we we're going to get OLED displays and you can see here a good amount of leaks coming in for this. But we did have a leak at the end of May time as you can see right here what tells us that actually OLED displays are coming to the MacBook Pro in 2026. And to be deadly honest with you, this is a strong possibility. If you follow me along here, most likely at the end of 2024 or even into early 2025, we've had this report in here from Mark Gurman telling us that the next generation of MacBook Pros are coming along with the M4, the M4 Pro and the M4 Max inside of it. Like I said, end of 2024 or the beginning of 2025. So if that is the case then, Apple probably wouldn't actually update their MacBook Pros for probably at least another year later. And you've got that right. That means we'd be going into early kind of 2026 time. And with this, this is most likely going to be the case because if you look at this timeline here, it looks like the M4 journey is going to continue on for a good part of 2025. So this would mean then that the M4 MacBook Pros are probably going to be the last MacBook Pros to have the mini LED display in them. And there is the potential this could be the last time we actually see the current 
design of the MacBook Pro. And this would mean then that when we get to the M5 series, say in 2026, we could actually see a brand new design MacBook Pro at that time with an OLED display inside of it. And obviously with all the M5, M5 Pro and the M5 Max inside of it too. But there again, this may not happen at all. At the end of the day, just to only have say four generations of the MacBook Pro to have the M4, the M3, the M2 and the M1 sort of series inside of it does seem a short amount of time. So the possibility of these older leaks here saying 2027, that could also still be a possibility too. And that this would probably be more like the M6 sort of generation when we'd actually get this. And this is most likely more likely the time because at the end of the day, Apple like to keep their designs for their MacBook Pros for around about say, five to six years. And remember, we got the current design of the MacBook Pro in the end of 2021. So, you know, if you did five years later there, that would come to the end of 2026, maybe even touching into early 2027 time. What I'll say is right now as it stands is that it's probably most likely going to be the case that it is gonna be probably sort of early 2026 to the end of 2026, when we could actually get these new OLED displays, especially now that the likes of the iPad Pros have got these inside of them. And a lot of you guys are probably wondering, well, when can I get this amazing screen inside of a MacBook Pro? And Apple will be aware of that. Don't forget in the past, we got mini LED displays put inside the likes of the iPad Pro. And that was around about April, May time in 2021. Obviously this was only in the 12.9 inch model, but then later on that year, that's when we got mini LED displays put inside the MacBook Pro straight after. And people are probably gonna be thinking this is gonna be the same approach here that Apple will want to take, but I'm afraid it is not gonna be the case here. It looks like we're gonna to have to wait at least a good amount of say 18 months from now, at least at the very very earliest until we actually get OLED displays inside the MacBook Pros. And just in case you're wondering too, what about say the MacBook Air? Well, that's probably gonna come much more later on. According to this leak as well, it does actually say that Apple wants to roll out OLED into all of their sort of devices, all their MacBook devices into the future. So with this, if say the MacBook Pro with an OLED display comes out first of all, then in 2026, we're probably gonna be targeting the end of 2027 or 2028 even before an OLED display actually makes its way towards say a MacBook Air. Remember the design of the MacBook Air as well is even newer than the likes of the design of the MacBook Pro. Okay, there isn't much in it. It's only around about say nine months newer, but obviously Apple probably wants to stage this out and and also to keep the prices around the same as they want now, they're probably not going to introduce an OLED display into their MacBook Air at this stage. So next of all, let's talk about the idea of a touchscreen MacBook Pro. Is it actually ever gonna come to be? Because at the end of the day, like the new Snapdragon sort of laptops, a lot of these had a touchscreen inside of them, not all of them, but quite a lot of sort of premium laptops actually have this inside of it. Well, Apple tried approaching kind of the touch sort of era a few years ago. Do you remember when we had the brand new MacBook Pros in 2016? And this actually had the touch bar. And at the end of the day, more people hated it than loved it. They didn't actually want to actually have a touch screen actually on the actual device. Apple did them and they believe that the touch bar is better. And obviously this did not go down well at all with the community. It just didn't work exactly the way people prefer to have physical keys and that's why the MacBook Pro still has them today. However, we have had a few leaks and rumors along the way that said that Apple might introduce a touch screen. And I would say if this new OLED display is going to come about, maybe this might be the time at last that Apple actually introduced a touchscreen into the likes of a MacBook Pro. But what I would say is if it did actually happen, don't expect the likelihood that, you know, your actual screen be able to fold over to the back of your MacBook and you'll be able to use it like a tablet. Apple still want to sell iPads into the future, so it doesn't look like this would change anytime soon. But like I said, there's nothing fully concrete that touchscreen sort of MacBooks are on their way. So we do have a few patents and things like this, but there's, like I said, there's nothing official saying that it's gonna be coming in the next couple of years. So for now, I would say take it with a grain of salt that we will get touchscreen MacBook Pros in the near future.
But with that as well, guys, are you excited about the new MacBooks in the future with an OLED display? Are you going to still buy yourself a mini LED sort of MacBook Pro in the near future? Or are you going to hold out now to the OLED ones that might come in about 18 months at the earliest? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And with that as well, guys, it's time to wrap up this video. So if you have enjoyed watching it, please do press the like button. And also, if you want to hear the latest Apple news, reviews, and comparisons too, please also make sure you subscribe to this channel and also hit that notification bell. Until next time, guys, I'll see you really soon. Take care. Bye-bye.